should we automate away all the jobs? Every technological revolution leads to job change, and this will be no exception. Concerns over the rapidly expanding use of artificial intelligence. A much harder challenge is how do people then have meaning? The CEO of Tesla and Neuralink, the genius mind behind SpaceX, the richest man on Earth is also the person who created one of the best artificial intelligence organizations, OpenAI. And now the man himself says there is nothing more dangerous than AI, not even a nuclear war. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. What made him say this? Is there something we are overlooking that Elon is trying to warn us about? AI is dangerous. On this Earth, humans are the dominant species. Our defining characteristic is our intelligence. We might be weaker than chimpanzees and less agile, but we are smarter. Now, what happens when something vastly smarter than the smartest person comes along in silicon form? Yes, it takes over. And Elon thinks this is going to happen soon. It is not very difficult to predict what will happen in the future because we are already seeing tiny bits of it. AI or artificial intelligence is getting better and better and better. These machines can now learn, adapt, and evolve. They can process information faster and more accurately than any human ever could. That's why Elon Musk thinks AI is so dangerous, more dangerous than nuclear war. Nuclear war is a known threat. We understand its devastating impact. But AI, it is an unknown, evolving entity. Imagine a super intelligent AI making decisions that could impact the entire human race. It might see us as a hindrance or simply an outdated model. The potential for AI to outsmart us and make decisions beyond our control is terrifying. Elon Musk knows that AI could become uncontrollable. He knows that it can make decisions that could lead to catastrophic outcomes. This is why he has been warning everyone. He warns us because he sees a future where AI could override human command. It could start making choices that are not in our best interest. We might create something that surpasses our understanding and control, leading to unintended consequences. And it has already started. Using AI is already destroying people's lives. Just two years ago, a video of Ukrainian President Zelensky went viral. In this video, he was seen telling his troops to stop fighting Russia and give up. It turned out the video was fake. It was AI generated. This video that was created by using AI is called Deepfake, and it is now super easy to create deepfakes with AI. And it has become super easy to use AI to manipulate truth and create chaos. This year, something similar happened. A Ukrainian YouTuber found out someone used AI to copy her face and voice. They made it look like she was Russian and selling stuff on an online platform in China. Imagine the damage this can do to a person's reputation, relationships, and trust. These scary events are just the beginning. Deep fake generators are only going to improve and get more dangerous. OpenAI, the very organization Elon Musk co-founded, has now released Sora AI, which is a text-to-video generator. This tool can create hyper-realistic videos that are almost impossible to distinguish from reality. The rise of deepfakes is alarming because there are so many risks. For example, think about political manipulation, fake news, and personal reputations being destroyed. Just imagine that someone creates a video of a world leader declaring war. The potential for global panic is immense here. This is why Elon said AI is far more dangerous than nukes. The wide range of risks also includes identity theft, financial fraud, and the erosion of trust in the media. We might reach a point where we cannot trust our own eyes and ears. We have gone so beyond the point where it is just about embarrassing videos or false news stories. Now we are playing with the fundamental nature of truth and trust in our society. Deep fakes can be used for blackmail. They can be used to create false evidence in legal cases and even manipulate stock markets. Technology is advancing rapidly, and the tools to create these fake videos are becoming more accessible. We need to be aware of these dangers and take steps to regulate and control the use of AI in creating deep fakes. And all that started with an organization that Elon started himself. So if Elon knew this was going to happen, why did he help create OpenAI in the first place? The era of OpenAI. OpenAI is that groundbreaking organization that brought us ChatGPT back in November 2022. ChatGPT is an amazing technology that they created which went viral as soon as they introduced it to the world. Here, Elon Musk was one of the co-founders of OpenAI. In fact, he was the one who suggested its name. But Elon is not with OpenAI anymore, so 
Why, after creating such a money-making machine, did Elon leave the company? You see, OpenAI wanted to create and promote friendly AI for everyone's benefit. They wanted to make smart robots, yes, but they also wanted to make sure these intelligent machines are safe and helpful. OpenAI's creation, ChatGPT, shows just how incredible AI can be. It helps with everything from writing to answering questions. Elon Musk, along with a few other masterminds, started OpenAI in 2015. Their mission was to make sure artificial intelligence benefits all of humanity. Elon was super keen on this idea because he wanted to democratize AI, making it accessible and safe for everyone. He didn't want a few big companies controlling AI and potentially using it irresponsibly. Now, his main and the most important goal was to keep AI safe and open source. He wanted OpenAI to be transparent and to share its advancements with the world. This was pretty much the opposite of what some other tech companies like Google were doing with their AI projects. Everything was going great over there at the OpenAI's headquarters. But then suddenly in 2018, Elon left OpenAI's board. Why? Well, most people believed it was because he had a lot on his plate. He was busy with Tesla's self-driving cars, SpaceX's space missions, and even taking over Twitter. Managing a social media giant turned out to be quite a distraction, but the main reason why Elon left was something else. You see, there was a big shift in OpenAI in 2019. It switched from a non-profit to a for-profit entity. That did not sit well with Elon. He had some serious disagreements with Larry Page, who is the co-founder of Google, over the commercialization of AI. Elon wanted to be cautious with AI, while Larry seemed more laid back about the whole thing. Their clash turned into a full-blown rivalry. Elon initially wanted OpenAI to be open source. He wanted it to be the opposite of Google's closed, profit-driven approach. OpenAI started as a nonprofit to democratize AI and keep it safe. But when it turned into a for-profit company in 2019, Elon was not happy. He even questioned the legality of a nonprofit transferring intellectual property to a for-profit entity. To him, it felt like donating to save the Amazon rainforest, only to find out they were cutting down trees for profit. Another major reason Elon left was his concern about AI safety. He felt open AI was not doing enough to ensure safe AI development. AI has the potential to change the world, and Elon wanted open AI to prioritize safety above everything else. He could not just sit back and watch AI grow without proper safety measures. It means Elon knew even five years ago how dangerous AI is. It's just that we didn't know. And now he is warning everyone. While he is doing this, he is creating another monster with his AI projects. For now, he is promoting it. But will he change sides in the future like he did with OpenAI? Neuralink. Neuralink is one of Elon Musk's most ambitious and fascinating projects. It is a neurotechnology company founded by Musk in 2016. The company's mission is to develop implantable brain machine interfaces, or BMIs, which will help bridge the gap between humans and computers. So what does that actually mean? And why did Elon start this company? The company wants to create advanced brain implants that can connect the human brain directly to computers. So in a way, you will be able to control your devices just by thinking about it. That's the kind of future Neuralink envisions. This technology is not just for controlling your smartphone or playing video games with your mind. It has the potential to advance medicine and enhance human capabilities in ways we never thought possible. But how exactly? The company is developing tiny, flexible threads that can be implanted into the brain. These threads are designed to be less damaging to brain tissue than existing brain machine interfaces, which are typically more rigid. The threads are then connected to a small device implanted in the skull, which communicates wirelessly with external devices. This setup allows for the recording and stimulation of neural activity, which means it will enable a direct interface between the brain and technology. Looking at this amazing technology, we can think of so many benefits, especially in the medical field. For example, Neuralink could help treat a variety of neurological disorders, such as Parkinson's disease, epilepsy, and even depression. If we could directly stimulate specific areas of the brain, it may be possible to alleviate symptoms or even reverse the effects of these conditions. We could also help individuals who have lost their ability to see, hear, or move due to injury or disease. They could regain these functions through this technology. Neuralink could potentially bypass damaged nerves and send signals directly to the brain, restoring lost capabilities. Beyond medical applications, Neuralink could also improve cognitive functions like memory, learning, and attention. This could be beneficial for individuals with cognitive impairments, as well as those looking to boost their mental performance. However, like any powerful technology, 
Neuralink comes with its own set of risks and ethical concerns. Elon Musk started Neuralink with a big vision in mind. He has been very vocal about the potential dangers of AI, and Neuralink is part of his solution to this problem. He believes that by enhancing our brains with technology, we can keep up with the rapid advancements in AI and even integrate with it in a beneficial way. Basically, Neuralink aims to make sure humans are not left behind in the AI revolution. But this does not mean there are no dangers. Just think about it. Someone would have direct access to our brains. There are going to be significant worries about privacy. How do we ensure that the data collected from brain activity is secure and not misused? The potential for hacking or unauthorized access to someone's thoughts is a serious issue that needs to be addressed. On top of that, the ability to enhance cognitive abilities and restore lost functions raises ethical questions. Who gets access to this technology? Could it lead to a societal divide between those who can afford enhancements and those who cannot? This has further worried us. We were just worried about AI and OpenAI's new form of AI generators every day. Now we are worried about Elon stealing our thoughts. And it's not just us. Even the environment is not safe. Do you know how AI is destroying our Earth? AI and environment? You might not realize this, but AI is a massive energy hog. Take ChatGPT, for example. A single Google search uses about half a milliliter of water, but ChatGPT needs 500 milliliters of water for every five to 50 prompts just to keep its servers cool. That's a huge difference. The energy consumption is even crazier. In just 30 minutes, an AI model can use as much electricity as a small house uses in a whole year. And it is only getting worse. By 2027, AI might be using more electricity than entire countries like the Netherlands, Argentina, or Sweden. That's a big deal because it means more power plants, more pollution, and more strain on our natural resources. Did you know Hugging Face, which is a New York-based AI company, reported using 433 MWs of electricity just to train one of its text-generating tools? That's enough power to light up 40 average American homes for a year. And running something like ChatGPT, that could cost around 564 MWh of electricity per day. If big companies like Google decided to switch their entire search mechanism to AI, the energy usage would be off the charts. De Vries from VU Amsterdam did some math and found out that with an average of 9 billion searches every day, switching to an AI-based search engine would use 29.3 terawatt hours of electricity annually. That's as much as Ireland uses in a year and nearly double Google's total energy use in 2020. Switching to an AI-centric model on such a scale is not practical right now because it would require over 4 million high-end GPUs, which are in short supply. Plus, the cost would be around $100 billion. No company has that kind of money just lying around. As AI becomes more popular and we rely on it more, the demand for water and energy will skyrocket. We can probably manage the energy damage by using our renewable resources, but we already have fewer water supplies, we cannot manage to lose it even more. And then there is the issue of rare earth metals. Your smartphone, your laptop, and all those cool new AI features, they rely on rare earth metals like neodymium, lanthanum, and terbium. These metals are important for making the hardware that powers AI, but mining these metals is incredibly harmful to the environment. Open pit mining is the method used to extract these metals. But the thing is, this method destroys landscapes, causes massive habitat loss, and leads to soil erosion. The dust and waste materials left behind can pollute the air and water. Processing these ores is just as bad. It often involves using harmful chemicals, which can have devastating effects on local communities and ecosystems. Training a single AI model can produce 300,000 kilograms of carbon dioxide emissions. That's the same as the lifetime emissions of five average cars in the US. The lack of transparency from tech companies about their environmental impact makes things worse. We don't have a full picture of how much damage is being done, which makes it harder to address the problem. So while AI is impressive and has many uses, it has many hidden costs. What can we do to mitigate all these dangers? AI regulation. There is no denying that we need strict regulations on AI's energy consumption. Governments could enforce limits on how much power AI companies can use. For example, the government should require AI firms to operate on a certain percentage of renewable energy. This could significantly cut down on their carbon footprint. Right now, 
only about 22% of major streaming companies use renewable energy. Pushing that number up could make a big difference. On top of that, we need to look at the production side of things. Governments should enforce stricter environmental regulations on mining activities. Companies should be required to invest in cleaner extraction methods and proper waste management. Other than that, tech companies should be required to disclose the carbon footprint of their AI systems. By sharing knowledge and resources, we can mitigate the environmental impact of AI and ensure a greener future. But what about the ethical dilemmas? The fact that AI is far more dangerous than nukes for human beings? If we need to stop AI from taking over, we need a few key strategies. First, we need strict regulations. Governments can create rules that limit how AI is developed and used. This means setting standards for transparency, accountability, and ethical use. For example, they need to ban or restrict technologies like facial recognition that can prevent misuse and protect privacy. Other than that, we have to align AI with human values. Developers should focus on creating AI that is safe, reliable, and aligned with our interests. This can be done by building systems with built-in safety measures like kill switches or feedback loops. Lastly, we have to raise public awareness and involvement. Educating people about the risks and benefits of AI can lead to more informed decisions and a stronger demand for ethical AI practices. By taking these steps, we can manage AI's growth and prevent it from taking over. But that's not the only danger Elon has warned us about. There is something else he believes is a danger to us. What is it? The other dangers. Annihilation of all life on Earth is a certainty. A certainty. Um, and it could be as little as <laughs> on the galactic timescale, uh, half a billion years. You know, long time by human standards, but th that's only 10% longer than Earth has been around at all. So what are these dangers Elon talks about? First, there is the risk of self-inflicted destruction. Civilizations, including ours, could wipe themselves out through nuclear war, environmental collapse, or other catastrophic events. There is also the threat of natural disasters like massive asteroid impacts, which have happened before and could happen again. Even if we manage to avoid these, the sun will eventually expand and engulf Earth, making our planet uninhabitable. And we can also not rule out the possibility of being attacked by aliens. We don't see aliens, but it does not mean they do not exist. Elon Musk believes in the possibility of alien life. He often says that the absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. The universe is incredibly vast, and it is entirely possible that intelligent life exists out there, but is simply too far away for us to detect with our current technology. Another idea is that advanced civilizations are using technology beyond our understanding, making them invisible to us, or they may be deliberately avoiding us. But will they avoid us forever? No, we cannot know this for sure. This is why we need a solution, a solution that can secure our survival against the threats facing Earth and also increase our chances of discovering and possibly interacting with extraterrestrial civilizations. What is this ultimate solution that Musk has suggested? Musk's solution? And I think we may find that there's, there's many one planet civilizations that died out millions of years ago and never made it to the second planet. Or we, we just, I think we want the, the light of consciousness to not be extinguished if something were to happen to Earth. Where, and, and, you know, in the case of the dinosaurs, they only had to worry about, like, you know, meteors and supervolcanoes and other things. Um, but for us humans, we actually have the power to destroy ourselves with nuclear weapons. Elon Musk's big solution is to make us a multi-planetary species. This means expanding human life beyond Earth and establishing colonies on other planets. Musk believes that by doing so, we can safeguard our future against catastrophic events, whether they are natural disasters or self-inflicted wars. According to him, if we spread out to other planets, we would be able to provide a backup for humanity. This is the only way we can make sure that even if one planet faces disaster, human civilization can continue elsewhere. Elon Musk believes that the first step to becoming a multi-planetary species is to colonize Mars. According to Musk, Mars is the best candidate for colonization because it has a day similar in length to Earth's, possesses water in the form of ice, and has the potential for sustainable life. His dream is to create a self-sustaining city on Mars, 
complete with homes, industries, and everything needed for human life. This would be humanity's insurance policy against any existential threats on Earth. But cannot just pack up and leave, we need to make Mars livable. And Musk has plans to make that possible as well. Even the first part of his plan is wild. The man wants to nuke Mars poles. The idea is to release enough carbon dioxide to warm the planet and create a thicker atmosphere. Scientists, however, are not convinced by this. They think it is a bit too far-fetched. So what's plan B? Building domes with controlled environments inside. These domes would act as giant bubbles where we can live and breathe. But the problem is, Mars is known for its dangerous dust storms that can mess up these domes and cosmic radiation that is pretty much like getting a sunburn from hell. Elon Musk has a solution for this problem as well. He believes that we can dig underground and live there. Living below the surface could protect us from radiation and severe dust storms. So in a way, we just need to build an underground city on Mars. And for surface operations, we let robots handle the tough stuff. In fact, Elon is already working on Tesla bots that could do the surface job for humans on Mars. NASA is on board with this plan as well. They are running simulated Mars missions right here on Earth. There are even some scientists living in Mars-like conditions on Earth to figure out how to survive there. These people are dealing with everything from limited resources to equipment failures. The whole setup is designed to find out if we can live on Mars or if it is just a pipe dream. Even if Elon finds some kind of bearable living situation, what about power? We need electricity to keep things running. Solar panels seem like the obvious choice, but Mars says there are dust storms that can damage them, and it is farther from the sun, so not much sunlight reaches its surface. But then he designed the Tesla Megapack. These are giant batteries that can store massive amounts of energy. If that does not work, NASA says they have a backup plan with kilopower, which are small nuclear reactors that can power our Martian homes. Before humans set foot on Mars, Musk plans to send a fleet of SpaceX starships loaded with cargo. These ships will carry everything we need to start building our new home. And guess who's going to do the building? Robots. Tesla's Optimus robots will handle the dangerous and boring tasks. They will prepare Mars for humans in advance. Elon Musk believes if this plan works, we don't have to worry about anything. Aliens, disasters, rogue AI, whatever comes at us, we are ready for it. And don't worry, we don't have to wait for a lifetime to see it happening. Musk believes that we could see a team of humanoid robots starting to set up a colony on Mars as soon as 2028. Elon Musk's solution is bold and visionary. It will push the boundaries of what we think is possible. But what do you think? Is Musk's plan the way to go? Or should we focus on fixing Earth first? Do you have any other ideas? If so, share them with us in the comments below. And if you want more mysteries uncovered, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel because we have got a lot more of this. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.